now to the best and worst times to hit the road. And the warning from Amtrak before rush hour. Morgan Norwood is at Penn Station for us this morning. Good morning to you, Morgan. Hey, good morning to you, Robin. Yes, we are looking at a real mess, not just here in Penn Station, but up and down the East Coast corridor, Amtrak and New Jersey Transit, warning rush hour commuters to uh, be mindful of not just delays, but even cancellations. Let's talk about it. All of this after down power lines created just a travel nightmare last night, talking about stranding thousands between Washington, D.C. and New York City. Now, we know power was restored to one track overnight, but authorities do predict the delays will go on for some time, especially as we head into the busy Memorial Day travel weekend. Robin. Okay, so we know about the rails. How about the roads? What can we expect there? Yeah, we're not only expecting, you know, a record number of travelers flying, right? But we expect far more many people to hit the roads. We're talking about 38.4 million people, according to AAA. Uh, that is expected to travel by car through Memorial Day. It's the highest number since they even started tracking back in 2000. A 4% jump just from last year. And look, the heavy congestion is already getting underway today. Let's take you live to our WABC chopper. You can already see the traffic starting to build up. The worst traffic, I will say, is going to be from noon to 6 today, tomorrow. We're looking from noon to 7, and then the bulk of the afternoons on Saturday, Sunday, Monday. The best times to avoid a slowdown will be before 11 a.m. or travel late in the evening, especially if that fits in your travel plans. Robin? We'll keep that in mind, Morgan. Thank you.